what's happening everybody just taking off tonight for a little night ride it's about 9 p.m but you know what around here out here in texas sometimes man that's the best time to ride rev bomb i want to invite every single one of you out to tonight's live cast and we're going to be doing that tonight at 7 p.m central that's 8 p.m on the east coast 6 p.m. Mountain and 5 out in California. We've got some great people on the panel. We've got JT Southern Fry. We've got Miss Mary Geared Raven. We've also got Rocket Rider 510 out on the streets again. And we've got a couple of surprise people that you're not going to want to miss. We're going to be having four main topics. The first one is, and you're not going to want to miss this one. The first topic is, look, there are two ways that I've uncovered that you can actually do a live mobile okay you can go live on your mobile phone without a thousand subscribers there are two ways they're both kind of hacks that i've come across but the other thing we're going to talk about is hey look how can you see how can you identify somebody who's giving you a thumbs down no i'm just kidding guys i haven't been able to crack that code yet but i'm working on it i'm working on it and you know sometimes you get those thumbs down i think it's kind of funny look the bigger you get you look at the big guys and, and they've got you know, somebody will release a video and in the first hour they've got a thousand views and five of them are thumbs down. That's just going to happen, man. The bigger you get, the more haters you're going to collect. And we're going to have some of the best motor vloggers you've never heard of. I pass along the guys that I see promise, the guys and gals that I say, you know what? There's something about this one. There's something about their creativity. There's something about the way they're putting videos together. I can see the vision. Another subject I wanted to bring up are some videos. Um, that I'm going to talk about on tonight's live cast there's a certain type of video that I will never do and I got news for you it's not it's not mail call <laughs> I like mail calls actually but as you know it's been a while since I've been in town and I haven't been able to do a mail call because I just haven't been around uh, but now that I've got some new mail coming in I'm going to do some mail calls where I'm mixing the old and the new some of the older mail uh, that I got it's new to me. I know you guys sent it a while back, but hey man, I wasn't in town from January all through March. And then when I did get home in April, man, I got home in April and lost two family members in one week. Well, I, you know, there were a couple times where I caught myself saying, I'll just be happy when April's over, man. She'll wake me up when April's done. Man, now that it's done and gone, it's time to continue riding on. Um, but you know what, man? When, when we lose people in our family like that, that's a cycle of life. That's the cycle of life, and we're just lucky to have them as long as we did. Absolutely gorgeous, man, what a life. Anyway, so getting back to riding and night riding, here's why I love night riding, is it's so comfortable for me, man. I just absolutely love it. I hope you guys do too. Here are a couple of my tips and tricks for night riding. There are really two main things that I, I think about a lot when I'm riding at night one is the lighting situation and the other one is my spacing i'm extra careful on the spacing so with the lighting you know last last year i replaced my back light with an led uh, and this year i replaced the front with an led i'll go ahead and put a link up here in the description so you can see that one how i did that it was nothing but four screws and one screwdriver man real quick boom 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 it was on we're talking about vision or being visible the jacket that i have is red with some uh, piping on it that lights up against the lights you know it's got armor inside it it's uh, breathable so I can actually feel the wind against my arms right now so nice to ride like this I just wish there was a bike night going on but it's a random Tuesday night uh, the other thing that I think about a lot is my spacing so as I can see here somebody's getting on the highway back there I got this guy on my left so I'm just gonna sit right here for the moment I'm good to go right here take a quick look this guy I'm gonna get ahead of him because he may not see me and even though that's a solid line right there to my right he might try to jump over so I'm looking at my rearview mirrors nobody really around now I can do one of two things here. I can either sit back here, right where I'm at. I can pass this dude, and I think I'm good where I am right now. Here's the other thing at night. You're not gonna see the seams in the road. You know, sometimes in the road, especially on highways, there's a seam that runs right down the road. If you come across those seams, best thing for you to do is just pick a, pick a side, and if you have to cross it, just do it really quick. Don't want your tire getting stuck in that groove. 
there's a seam there's that seam in the road so what I'm gonna do because I got to pass this truck I'm gonna jump over to this side of the seam real quick and then just pass them up real fast so I don't need to be sitting on the side of that ding-dong now I got my, my air pocket back my space cushion do you guys like to ride at night? Do you not like to ride at night? Is it scary for you? Is it fun for you? Or is it something that you want to build up to? You know, for me, every every year of riding, I've always added a new skill. When I first started, I said, look, my very first year of riding, my skill or the challenge I gave myself, by the end of the year, I wanted to be very comfortable riding on the highway. And it didn't take a year to do that, but, uh, yeah, man. And the first time I did, I jumped on the the access road. I got on and I got right back off. And I went home and I said, man, I rode on the highway. But what do you know? Well, the next one was a little longer, a little longer, a little longer. Before you know it, you're going city to city and state to state. Give him a little rev bomb. Give him a rev bomb for love. A rev bomb for love and luck, baby. The other thing too at night, I mean, you can see the headlights of other cars coming up on your right or on your left. So yeah, it can help you a little bit. Of course, you're always gonna do your head checks. Look at that city, boy. Woo -wee. Although what you may not know, San Antonio is the seventh largest city in the US. No joke, man, look it up. A lot of people don't know that, a lot of people do. I'll tell you what, riding at night ain't nothing like it. I hope you guys get a chance to ride at night. If you do, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you like about night riding. And if you don't night ride, throw down in the comments what, what concerns you about night riding. You know, I mean, yeah, there's obviously additional precautions to take, but as we grow as riders, you know, I didn't always ride on the highways and I didn't always ride at night. I didn't always ride in the rain. Uh, but that's a beautiful thing about riding motorcycles is that we grow into it and we build our skills over time. Everyone's on their own timeline. You know, it, when it comes to building up skills, everyone's on their own timeline. Like I love to say, don't compare your beginning to somebody else's middle. And that's if you're a, a beginning rider. Don't rush to gain these skills. Gain them at your own confidence and comfort level, man. That's the key to it.